Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the curvature tool. First, we will set a grid. To do this, either go to Edit, Preferences and choose General or press the Ctrl and K buttons on your keyboard. Now select the Guides and Grid, set the grid line to 200 pixels and the subdivisions to 6. Click OK. If your grid is not visible, press the Ctrl and quotation mark keys on your keyboard. With the curvature tool, we can draw refined curves or straight lines quickly and visually. Also, we can adjust them without the need of using other tools. To select the curvature tool, either press the Shift and tilde keys on your keyboard, which is located by the number 1, or choose it from the toolbar panel. Now single click on the artboard to set the first anchor point. Then move up and single click again to set the second anchor point. As soon as we move our mouse to set the next anchor point, Illustrator automatically flexes the line around the two anchor points, giving us a refined curve. Let's get rid of the fill and set another anchor point. And again. If you wish to finish your line right here, press the escape key on your keyboard. If you would like to continue your path, first click on the path to select it and then continue to draw. Another way to deselect is to press and hold down the control key and then click away from the drawing. With the curvature tool, you can edit the line you drew without having to use additional tools. Let's convert the tab round corners to sharp corners. To do this, first click on the path to select it and then double click on the anchor point. Now do the same with the other anchor point and press the escape key to deselect. Now let's draw a circle. Click on tab, then on the side, now add the bottom, right side and click on the beginning anchor point to close the path. Let's create a heart shape. With the curvature tool, you can add an anchor point by clicking on the existing path. You can move it to change the curve, double click to make a sharp corner like we did before, and if you wish to delete any of the anchor points, first click on it to select it and then press the delete key on your keyboard. If you wish, you can add a fill. Let's create a few more lines. Click to begin, click again to set another anchor point and one more time to create a curve. Click again to create another curve. Next, we want to create a sharp corner. To do this, double click on this anchor point. Now let's make a curve. Single click down here and let's make another sharp corner. Instead of double clicking, you can also hold down the Alt key and then click. And again, single click to make a round corner. Now holding down the Alt key, click to make a sharp corner, another sharp corner, next one, and one more. Now press the Ctrl key and click away to deselect. Let's make one more line. Click to begin, hold down the Alt key and click to make a straight line. Hold down the Alt key and click again. Now press the Shift key as well to get a straight parallel line. Single click on top. Single click to make a curve. Hold down the Alt key and click to start a straight line. Press the Shift key as well to make it parallel. And again. The curvature tool can be useful to create letters for example or tracing objects. If you would like to follow along, feel free to download this file. I include a link to it in the description below.
Let's zoom in. Now press the Shift and tilde keys on your keyboard to select the curvature tool and click over here to set the first anchor point. Next click to set another anchor point and do it again following the profile of the fish. Double click to make a sharp corner and click to make a curve. Now continue all the way to the starting point. Let's adjust the curves by moving the anchor points. Next let's draw the fins using the same method. Now draw a single curved line and make a circle for the eye. Let's duplicate it, swap the fill and the stroke, scale it down and move it. Let's zoom in and make a few more adjustments. Now select the top fin, right click with your mouse, choose arrange and send to back. Next select all and change the fill to white. If you like you can also increase the strokes width. To do that open the stroke panel and change the weight to 5 points. And do the same with the other lines. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.